Uh, hello, I want to do a review about a movie that I just watched today called Hidden Figures. Um, it's a true, based on a true story about um, some African American women who helped, um, who worked at NASA and helped uh, with the space program, like getting um, the Americans into space and getting them back safely. Um, I watched it and it was um, really incredible. Like. Uh, first of all, the first time I noticed this movie was when I took my parents and sister to see La La Land and um, there was a preview for Hidden Figures and my mum was like, oh, that movie look, looks really good, you know, when it comes out on DVD, like, you should, we should grab it and, and watch it. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, so it kind of, like, stuck in my head, like, I'll look out for that movie. And then tonight my friends wanted to see it, so I was like, oh, I'll definitely go watch it. Um, and I really thought it was such a great movie, like, it really, um, like, it draws you in and you really feel for these characters and um, although it does it, it's just well told like this the movies really done really well but the thing is the people who the movie is about already they had such amazing lives really there's three of them um, that the movie focuses on um, Catherine Johnson Mary Jackson and Dorothy Vaughan and um, yeah it follows them and in the movie um, they're, they're a group of friends, and uh, I, it's hard to explain it all and make it so good, but um, I definitely re recommend watching it if you're interested in, in like, um, just seeing s a story of some inspiring people who had to, um, you know, overcome, like, a very, like, hard situation um, to get, you know, to do what they wanted. Um, like I was thinking about it, you know how there's like privileged people and these pe people are the opposite of that so that they're, they're like underprivileged or I don't know, disadvantaged or something like that but yet somehow they still went for it and like I'll let you watch the movie to find out what happens and stuff but um, the performances are fantastic, like they're really really good by all the cast actually um, and there's some really amazing moments during it and um, just like I'm really glad that they made this movie so I could watch it and just learn about these people who, well, Catherine Johnson is still alive, actually, so, um, but these people from, um, history who were just really incredible, um, I find the story very inspiring, like, just how, like, one of them, like, you know, did extra classes and stuff like that to become an engineer, and, and it wasn't easy because, you know, um, because se segregation in those days and things like that, um, just I find it very inspiring. To, for, to me to watch and also just to realize how hard it is for um, people who you know how like yeah it's just very hard for certain um, parts of society um, especially in those days as well so I really thought the movie was fantastic very glad I watched it and um, now I've been watching um like uh, reading up about like because whenever I watch these based on true stories um, things I usually like to read about the actual person to find out like uh, which parts of it were true, which parts were changed and stuff and often the which is the case um, it's pretty much spot on usually like when I watched the one, what was the one um, with about the army guy who didn't kill anyone um, oh, it, with um oh it's the army one about the guy who didn't kill anyone it was really really good Ah, oh, the guy who played Spider-Man. <laughs> Andrew Garfield was in it. Mm. Uh, don't worry about it. If you look it up, it was really, really good. And the actual guy that it was based on um, did all those amazing things. They just kind of condensed timelines and things like that. Uh, and sa same for this, actually. Uh, most of the stuff that happened in this movie was true. They might have, you know, um, melded a few of the other, uh, other NASA staff members into one person and things like that. And... Um, but most, a lot of the stuff they did was true, and um, I've been watching interviews with Katherine Johnson, and and apparently um, her kids were saying like she was so humble, like she didn't even she did all these amazing things at her work, but all they knew was that she did maths at NASA, and she never bragged about anything. And they had to find out about they found out about what she did, like amazing things from other sources, like when books and stuff came out about her and things. Like I've noticed that just like. It's, I've really noticed that, especially in the last few weeks, like, I've noticed that the, some of the, probably most of the really amazing people there, they don't brag at all, like, they're just so humble, like, um, like, I just saw, like, Matt Damon in an interview just recently, um, uh, Roger Federer and Nadal, same thing like that, and Serena Williams, um, but yeah, I just find that really kind of cool, like, they don't toot their own horn, but yet they're just so amazing, like, I just find it's like a common thread, um, and she, like, let's just take Katherine Johnson's, um, thing, like, she just loved what she did. Like, she goes, um, she didn't feel like she was working, like, she really loved these maths, and 
uh, on a, just a purely mathematical level, I find it just so amazing that, you know, they could just calculate all these things and things like that. Um, it was really, really cool. I'm really glad I watched it. Uh, I definitely recommend it if you like this kind of stuff. Um, yeah, like true stories about inspiring people. Um, yeah, it was a good movie. Really good movie.